Sorry, that's the fun of it. Always. These two ladies look like they're just out for some fun. But their good time will be at someone else's expense. Hi. Have we met before? Well, I think I would remember you ladies, but it's nice to meet you now. I'm Mike. How are you? What may look like harmless flirtation... Hey, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. ...is actually a dangerous scam. Oh, yeah. This will be the easiest money we've ever made here. Targeting wealthy men and drugging them to steal their money. If you saw this, what would you do? The scene of the crime is Spanky's, a college hangout in Chapel Hill, home to the University of North Carolina's oldest campus. Have we met before? Mm, no, I think I'd remember you guys. Right away, these ladies have our deceptive duo under surveillance. All right, listen, don't run, run anywhere. I'll be right back, okay? okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. While he's away... Oh, my gosh, she totally thinks right now. I know. That's so funny. Our girl puts the powder in his drink. What? He just put the in his drink. Hey, oh, we're gonna lose no He's fine. I don't think he'll mind. I think he'll have some fun. Okay, but I'm gonna tell the bartender to take that away because I saw you just drink. Okay. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. She gives the girls one last warning. I'm going to tell her that he's back and tries to drink that. Unless you want to dump it out right now, then I won't tell him. Please don't say anything. And then dump it out. Okay, we're bringing Mike back in. And when Mike returns, she does just that. Excuse me, sir. They put something in your drink and I want to dump it out. What are you talking about? They put something in your drink while you were in the bathroom. You can stick around. It's all right. No, they wouldn't have done that. I would mind my own business if I hadn't seen them put something in your drink. Let's go meet these brave women. I'm John Kenyon. Oh my God. You okay? Yeah. You were really upset, huh? Because it's wrong. It's like not only illegal, but it's dangerous. There's lives at risk. Like no one should not be in control of their own body because of someone else. What would you do? We're rolling again. Is that his? I think so. Here you go. How are you covering me? This couple watches silently as she drugs his drink. Push it back for you. He's coming back. But when Mike returns... Hey, they just pushed something in your drink, just FYI. Who, the girls? Yeah. They put something in my drink? Yeah. Yeah, they just put a pill or something. In you gotta be kidding me. No. And now they launch an investigation. Hey, what'd you put it in his drink? I, we just saw you do it. You put something in my drink? They're just making, they're clearly making stuff up. Do you want to call the police and have them check the drink out? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? We, we saw clearly you, saw you, saw you put something in his drink. drink. Look at the different color of your drink. You guys are liars. Yeah, plus you're down the door. Wow. Wow. It's crazy. It's like something out of a movie. Time to tell them it's a made-for-TV movie. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, you guys nice. are great. Nice. <laughs> it's what would you do? Oh, my uh, god. Well, I guess we did the right thing, I hope. We have a college student here, so it's real eye-opening of how quickly that can happen. Keep your hand on your drink. You go to the bathroom, take it with you. Throughout the day, Mike ignores that advice, but plenty of people do have his back. He's so rich. This man sees something and says something. Such a man. Yeah, that's a great man. Did you know they put something in your drink? I'm sorry? I saw them putting something in your drink. And then he offers some liquid relief. I'll buy, I'll buy you a new one. This student warns Mike not to leave with the young women. What? I thought I saw them stir your drink when you got up to the go to the restroom. Stir my drink? What do you mean? I thought they put something in there. She's so rich. This is going to be so fun now. It's going to be great. Lady. And this woman. They put a capsule of something in his drink and said to stir it up really well. She quickly alerts the bartender. Could you just get him a fresh drink real quick before he sits down and drinks? We'll break it, right? We're ready to break it. How are you? 
<laughs> I'm John Quinones. I'm wow. not believing this. <laughs> I've seen you on TV before. I've seen this show before. And we came south to see how people would react here. Right when I saw that, I was horrified. So I would hope someone would do that for me. It gives you faith in humanity. We roll one last time. You think this is enough? I think that's enough. That's plenty. These patrons sense something isn't right. All right, I'm back. I'm back. <clears throat> all right, up, cheers, Mike. ladies. Good to cheers. see you. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> Mike, you should drink all that. Have some fun with us. Let loose. Oh, I can't drink the whole thing. Oh, sure you can. Oh, yes, you can. That's a good thing. Bang for your buck. Cheers again. Cheers, Mike. Cheers. Cheers. All right, that good. That was fast. There you go. I'm going to get another one of those. And now we tell our actor, Mike, to pretend he's feeling the effects of the drug. I feel a little dizzy. Oh, that's not good. I'm okay. sorry. Do you need to lie down? We can take you back to your apartment if you want to. When the girls leave Mike alone... We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Oh, man. So I just chugged this sure drink. He... Yeah, but are you sure they didn't do something to that? I saw one of them touch that while you were gone. They want, do you know them? No, I just... So they I just, just walk in, and, and five minutes later, they're trying to get you to leave with them? I, it did taste a little strange. What, did you, what is that supposed to be? It's a Jack and Coke. Look at that stuff around there. We will take care of you and let them go home. They seem like nice girls. They I, do. I kind of I kinda like them. They're nice. And now our predators return to take home their prey. You ready, Mike? Needs to go with y'all. We'll, we'll Five call, minutes we'll after you walk in there, we got him taken care of. We got it. Uh, I got my car outside, so. Yeah, we can take you. Well, we have two drivers right here. You take you. Can I trust can just, you? Of course. I'm only 10 minutes away. That's of fine. Us, yeah. You promise? Uber. I got a. Yeah. I got Uber. A, Keep pushing it. Act like he's leaving. We're coming in. You're making a huge mistake. Will you take me home? Yes, I yes, promise. Boy, they're going to take you home. Well, they are really going to take you home, Mike. It's okay. He's not going anywhere. We are. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> you were worried about him. Absolutely. I just knew that that wasn't, this just wasn't, the vibe wasn't right. He, he's a stranger. You don't know him. Gosh, I don't, I mean, that's, uh, it's just, I would hope it's human nature. <laughs> I, just, I, I just can't imagine anybody reacting differently to that. Is there a moral to the story here? Yeah, I just hope, hope people look out for each other. Thank you. Thank you. You did a very good job. Thanks for coming to my... Scared the hell out of me. <laughs>